Hi guys, in this video I will show you the reason why 99% of all of the present proxy services will be dead in next few months. Are you interested with it? So let's start. Changing IP address. Yeah, this procedure is necessary in multi-accounting. Uh, so we need to use proxy or the VPN, something like that. Yeah, but proxy is most popular and um, it will be accepted by the anti-fraud system. Yeah, because it's uh, not so uh, not so easy to detect as, for example, the VPN. Yeah, so most of the users use proxy, proxy services and uh, everything was OK. Yep, completely OK. But there is a one really big shit in this algorithm. I will now show you. Let's take a look on this picture. So, for example, we have the HTTP protocol. Yeah, hypertext transfer protocol. The version number 1.1 was released in 1974, as I remember. Yeah, so when you're just entering the website name you need to enter http yeah and after that you will go to the website so the http protocol was used by the websites to communicate with the user yeah to give you the web forms the web pages and all other stuff uh, not so far after was released the first protocol first http protocol there was http uh, number two and this protocol was released with the new TLS version 1.2 plus and um, this t uh, this TLS version was accepted by the security cyber security uh, engineers yeah as acceptable version to protect user credentials for example when you are entering your credit card data or something else yeah so great nothing interesting uh, http number 1.1 and http number two as you can see on this picture they are using tcp protocol but um, not so not so far from the version number http2 uh, http number three was appeared yeah http number three is for now it's a little bit experimental protocol yeah so not all of the websites using this but almost all uh, web browsers for now they uh, they support HTTP protocol number three and for us the main difference between those protocols is that HTTP number three using UDP protocol instead of TCP so what does it mean that means 99% uh, of all of the proxy services in the internet they are using the TCP protocol but not the UDP and even if you can find the proxy which uh, accepts the UDP protocol, yeah, unfortunately, you can't find some kind of software that will allow you to use the UDP proxy. Because, for example, Proxifier does not accept uh, UDP protocol, Tune to Socks does not accept UDP protocol, WinCap does not accept UDP protocol, and um, may, on the Linux, yeah, you can find it, but not but on the Windows. Uh, so we can end this video, yeah, I can stop this video, but there is a few more interesting things that I want to show you. And I want to show you how this HTTP protocol number three can retrieve your real IP address even through the proxy. If you want to get more interesting info, yeah, more info about the HTTP protocol, you can use, for example, Wikipedia. Yeah, uh, on the Wikipedia, I want to um, show you this thing, the Quick Protocol. Yeah. Multiplexer transfer protocol built on the UDP. Yeah, what is the Quick Protocol? Quick Protocol 
has uh, has additional page on the Wikipedia. This protocol was created by the Google company, yeah, in nine uh, in 2012. So almost 10 years ago, the Quick protocol was created, and uh, the Quick protocol has been supported in our browsers. So the Quick protocol is an alternative protocol uh, to the TCP, yeah. And uh, this protocol can be used to communicate with the user and with the websites. So, how it works? Let's take a look. First, let's take a look on the HTTP3 support. As you can see, there is a very cool website which name is caniuse.com. On this website, you can just enter quick or HTTP3, and you will see that from Basic browsers support this protocol from November, uh, from 17th of November, 2012. Yeah, 2020, sorry. And th the same situation with the Edge, Firefox, Opera, yeah. Only Safari does not uh, work with the Quick protocol. So what does it mean? Let's take a look on this diagram. For now, for example, we are working this way. So if we it will be our virtual user yeah if we wanna work with the amazon for example we need to change our identity so we are hiring renting the proxy server yeah and uh, after that using this proxy server we are connecting to the amazon it's pretty simple but let's take a look on the network layer on the on our computer on our home computer we have the two protocols which has been supported by our uh, by our host internet provider protocol tcp and protocol udp the ip address will be the same on uh, those both protocols after we will connect to the proxy server proxy server will use only the tcp protocol as i said before in 99% of the proxy servers in the internet, they doesn't support the UDP protocol. And if even if we will find the proxy servers which allow us, uh, which will support UDP protocol, they uh, we don't have a software to use it. So um, users don't uh, don't mind about it. Yeah, so they just use, for example, the same uh, software like a proxy fire. So. We are connecting to proxy server via TCP protocol and connecting to the Amazon. Everything is cool. Everything is great. Yeah. So our proxy server has no UDP IP and the Amazon has no U our UDP IP. Everything works correct on the HTTP number two. But now more and more websites are using HTTP three protocol. Let's take a look on this interesting scheme. Take a look here. How the HTTP protocol number three works. So this is our virtual user, yeah. We are, for example, we wanna work with the Gmail, yeah, Google Mail service. And Gmail for now works completely with the quick protocol. So to work with the Gmail, for example, on our previous algorithm, we need to rent a proxy server, yeah, and connect to this proxy server via TCP. And after the proxy server, we'll connect by the TCP protocol to the Gmail. Everything was correct, but until now, there's, uh, as you can see, there is a completely new arrow, completely new thread. It's the thread of Quick. So when we are connecting to the Gmail. Gmail can request the connection via Quick Protocol. And because Quick Protocol was UDP based, yeah, that means our uh, the connection between uh, Gmail and our real computer, yeah, will be not filtered by the proxy server. So the connection will bypass the proxy server because the proxy server does not support UDP. That's why Gmail will always know our real IP address. 
because of this quick leak. So this quick leak will always give the website's ability to see our real IP address. So the proxy is completely unnecessary in this scheme. Completely. And even using proxy in this way will be worse than unused completely. Because, for example, the Gmail can compare our IP address, which can be retrieved via TCP protocol, and the IP address, which can be retrieved by the Quick protocol. And it will be few, uh, it will be different IP addresses. So that means in maybe 95% um, of the cases that we are using some kind of proxy or the some kind of uh, I don't know another network resource yeah for example maybe it can be SSH tunnel or something else yeah so when the websites are using HTTP protocol he can on, uh, he can always uh, he can always get info about our real IP. So that's the main shit. And unfortunately, there was no solution on this day, except one: just use the proxy with the UDP support. Yeah. Um, there is another way. There is an alternative way. You can just go, for example, in the Chrome, you can just go here, Chrome, yeah, flags, and here you can find quick. You see this? This uh, experimental option was uh, appeared in the Chrome, I have uh, seen it maybe from the year 20, uh, of 2016, something like this, maybe even earlier. So this is extremely old option and uh, this option was in the default uh, in the um, in the default value yeah but if you will set it to disable it uh, this leak will be blocked so for example the same website as a gmail cannot work with the quick protocol uh, it is good or it is bad it's bad because for example if the website knows that you are using modern browser which definitely will support quick protocol but the website cannot connect with you via quick protocol that means you have turned it off so who are you you are definitely not the regular user yeah you uh, you know what is it what is the quick protocol and you know where to block it and why do you need to block it only with the one only because of the one thing you want to hide your identity so the anti-fraud system will block you or may request some additional verification like a documents or something else from you yeah so i extremely don't recommend to turn off the quick protocol as i said before the best way to bypass this leak is using a proxy with the udp support for example a few services are in the internet they are providing proxy which will work like a vpn so that means uh, you will have your configuration file yeah and uh, using this file as a just a vpn uh, connection yeah will allow you to use the udp protocol so it will definitely bypass this leak yeah so i recommend all of you to start searching those servers just right now yeah because uh, for example gmail are already using quick protocol but in other websites are not yet using this protocol how can we know does the website using protocol quick or not let's find out we will open for example amazon yeah how can we know 
that Amazon will use this protocol or not, using, the, uh, using this protocol for now or not. We just need to press F12 button on our keyboard, um, on the Chrome or Edge, doesn't matter. And here we need to go to the network tab. You see this? Yeah. I will now refresh the page. And here we have name, uh, we have name, we have status, we have type. Yeah. Well, hold on. Yep. So, uh, and we can see there is a row which name is protocol. Yeah. Uh, if you don't have this row, you need to press right mouse button on any another row and uh, select the protocol. Yeah. So now we can see that Amazon using HTTP 1.1, the oldest protocol in the world. Yeah. And uh, also using HTTP number two, but HTTP number three, if we will go here, we can find that there is one interesting image, just an image here in GIF format, which uh, has uh, using uh, HTTP number three protocol. And as you can see, we can just put our mouse here and we see that this image was created by the some interesting service, Amazon at systems.com. Yeah. Unfortunately, we didn't know what this image, uh, what this image doing right now. Yeah, but this way, this uh, pretty simple way, we can check all of the websites and we can check, for example, if our websites using this protocol or not. I will show you an additional example. We will go on the website whoer.net. So let's take a look. You see how many h3 connections that means our uh, protocol http3 has been used by this website and if we will take a look here we can find a, a lot of uh, a lot of additional web pages yeah some pages from the spotify some pages from the social media some of the some of them are from the google analytics here yeah? for example here you, you see googletechmanager.com but also we can find a lot of scripts uh, directly from the whoer.net as you can see here yeah so this is the google tag, tag manager you can just check it by yourself for example this script is from whoer this script is also from whoer so for now whoer.net will allow you to check your connection and if you will uh, use your proxy and uh, go to this website and you will see your uh, real IP address instead of the proxy IP address, that means you cannot work with this proxy and with this network configuration. So, for example, it was where.net, but there is another situation. For example, we will go on the PayPal.com. We will also check the protocol yeah and as you can see there is a lot of h3 protocols but if we will take a look on the source of this script as you can see this script was came in from recaptcha.net recaptcha is the google service which can allow to the website to detect if user was legitimate or not so, for example, PayPal doesn't use his own uh, HTTP3 uh, scripts, yeah, uh, and don't, doesn't use HTTP3 protocol, sorry. Uh, but he is using the recapture, and the recapture was using HTTP protocol number three. That means on our diagram, that means if we want to visit PayPal, we will use the proxy via TCP protocol and everything will be okay until recapture, which, uh, which uh, cooperate with the PayPal. PayPal on his uh, pages has a script from the recapture. Yeah. Recapture can use quick against us to detect our real IP address, even behind the proxy. So that way, 
uh, the PyPal will always know our real IP and PyPal will know if we are legitimate user or not. Sometimes he can bypass it, but in most of the cases, unfortunately not. Yeah. So there is a three different, uh, three different algorithms of work. First, for example, with the Amazon, which works right now, completely not a problem. The second one with the PyPal, when the PyPal doesn't use their own HTTP3 protocol resources, but uh, PyPal using the recapture service and recapture is was using the quick protocol. Yeah, so the, uh, the PyPal will knows uh, will know information about us from the third parties. And the last uh, last algorithm from from the Gmail directly when the Gmail directly using the quick protocol, no any other resources, none, nothing else. Yeah, so. In the internet, we can find a lot of websites which can, uh, which are using HTTP protocol just right now. Yeah, even if this uh, on the experimental stage. So, for example, for example, we can go to Neteller. I hope you know this service. We will go to Neteller, and here we can find the scripts directly we can find the scripts from the uh, google analytics yeah but also we can find the scripts directly from the neteller for example i don't know which one is it just need to check all of them i think we can see on the from the facebook yeah um, you can just check it by yourself if you are interested uh, i think you will find it oh there it is. Yeah, you see this script. This script was used by the net directly uh, Neteller. Yeah, so they can detect your real IP address, and they are not using recapture, as you can see. Yeah, so they can detect your real IP address behind your proxy. So you need to protect yourself if you want to work with the Neteller. Also, Neteller is a big company, really big. But even the small websites, for example, Sweetwater, yeah, if you love music, you know this website. Sweetwater is a small company, yeah, and even this small website also using the HTTP3 protocol, as you can see here, yeah, um, scripts and other shit. So, uh, on my opinion, and as I can as I can see uh, from the internet, uh, more and more websites are using this protocol. So it's just a matter of time that in a few months, just a few months, maybe till our uh, till next year, um, all of the websites, all of the big websites and anti-fraud system will use protocol HTTP three and uh, because of this using just a regular just a regular tcp proxy will be completely useless 100 percent useless because this proxy will not protect us from this kind of leak uh, i know what you are thinking about maybe someone will will invent something interesting about it yeah for sure um, I'm, I bet that some anti-detect browsers, yeah, uh, they will uh, make an update and in this update they will say we have defeated quick leak, yeah, but uh, the only thing that they will do, they will just block it and that's it, yeah. Uh, on my website detect.expert you can check your IP address via quick protocol, there is a big test page yeah and also you can see if the quick protocol was blocked in your browser or not so if some developer will tell you that he has defeated quick protocol leak yeah first you need to check does he block it or not yeah so just just remember that the situation going worst every day yeah and uh, there is a lot of interesting functionality in the chrome browser 
and in the, in the edge, uh, which can be turned on a little bit later. For example, the Quick Protocol also uh, also supports DNS requests. Yeah, and but this this is another story. Uh, thank you so much for your attention. I hope my information was useful for you. So just remember that in a few months your working algorithm will be completely changed. Yeah, and uh, you will not be able to use regular TCP proxy anymore. So now you have time to prepare yourself to these changes. Yeah, and you have time to search in the internet where to find the proxy service with the UDP support. Only this thing will allow you to work completely 100% legitimate. All other solutions are shit. And don't forget to not block the quick protocol. Thank you so much for your attention and I hope we will see another news very, very soon. Thank you so much. Subscribe on my channel and share this video on the internet. People must know that there is a really big problem because uh, some people can just lose the money, but another people can lose their freedom because of this leak. So just share this video and we will make this world better. Thank you so much.